One of the first things that Translator had to do when it was developed over 15 years ago was to read proprietary formats, CDs and hard drives, etc. Uh, these are uh, for equipment made by Akai and Roland and Emu and Insonic and others. Uh, Translator still does that and it's one of the powerful things that it can do. Uh, here's uh, a list of virtual drives. What a virtual drive is, is an image of a CD or a hard drive. And we're using these because first for demonstration because they go faster and also we're able to show many at one time instead of taking one CD and, and uh, out one CD and putting one back in. So for example, this is how Translator views these things. You've got an Akai called Interactive Strings and there's partitions and there's volumes within the partition. You can see what kind they are. And then you can see the things inside here and you can audition them. Let's look for a couple more. So you can just view your you view all the things around there. Now you can convert any of these things in here by simply doing the same thing as you did before, just double clicking or clicking translate. And you can say, oh, we want to convert into EXS format. So let's try that. See it work. So there we are. Everything in that volume. And now again, this seems really easy to do. Um, there's a lot that goes on underneath the hood of Translator that you don't know. But that's the point is Translator wants to do all this for you. Um, you also notice that I just uh, erased a whole bunch of files uh, using Translator. I didn't have to go to the Finder to do that. What, uh, Translator does a lot of things like that. Okay, different formats. You've got in Sonic. Here's their first CD. And then you've got this folder, string section. Well, we've done too many strings. Let's, let's take uh, electric guitar. So we can look at the like dance guitar. Again, you can audition everything off that. You've got a Kurzweil CD. There's the famous Take 6 CD. So let's... Here's what some of these are made of. Do, 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 do. Okay, and just to top it off, we have the famous Roland Orchestral Volume 1. Look at right violins. Okay. Now let's uh, let's convert one of these CDs. The way you do it is you select, the, get the CD on the right, and this is a virtual drive, so it has the little drive thing, but it represents a CD. So you take it, and again, the same thing. You translate. And you say, okay, we want to put it in this folder, video material, and let's convert it to EXS24. So we go, okay. And since Akai's don't have named CDs, it wants to know what to name it. So we'll go interactive. And there it goes. It'll start converting all these partitions. Okay, we're finished. Now let's open the enclosing folder. Let's see, interactive. Ooh, there's all the partitions. There's all the volumes. And there's our samples and instruments just like they were in the Akai. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back and there's some esoteric formats like the Akai MPC. Look at all those. Um, these are all floppy images that we made for a customer. Um, see what's there. See, you can see everything there. And Emacs. There was a guy named Ray that we did some things for. And again, it's the same thing.
And believe it or not, we even do Synclaviers. We've got a bunch of Synclavier images. And we can see everything like that. I'll skip that because it can be a little complex. Um, let's uh, do something else. Let's do Pensonic. And let's take a piano. Another th way you can convert is you can drag things from the right and drop it on the left. This way you can determine a folder instead of selecting it in the master translation dialog. So let's drop this into here, the contact folder, and convert it into contact. And you can see where it is. There we go. And there are the NKI files. Now let me show you something else esoteric that is fun to deal with. I'm going to open contact right now. We just have the demo on this computer. Okay, and we can, can take a file that's on this computer and just drop it right into contact and play it. see if we can get it to play here. Well, something must be jamming it. Okay, well anyway, that's that's a contact for you. Um, so as you can see, you can uh, convert uh, one sample or many samples. And I'm going to erase all these files because I don't need them anymore. Okay, and that's how you convert proprietary uh, file formats to anything else.